Prince Harry has had some seriously awkward moments that were captured by millions of people. It's certainly comforting to know that even royals have occasional slip-ups like the rest of us. Curious to find out more about the prince's royal gaffes? Here are Prince Harry's most awkward moments. Ever gone for a kiss on the cheek and immediately regretted it? We've all been there, even, as it turns out, Prince Harry. In 2018, the royal was caught on camera in what is surely one of the most awkward greetings of all time. It all went down at the launch of Meghan Markle's first solo project as a royal family member. Prince Harry, Markle and her mother, Doris Ragland, were chatting with a female volunteer. Ragland greeted the woman with a kiss on both cheeks. But when Prince Harry goes in for a similar kiss, the woman backs away. Instead of backing off himself, Prince Harry bends down, holds out his arms and waits for her to accept his kiss on the cheek. Then, the awkward kiss finally takes place, with Prince Harry and the woman directing their demure pecs into the air. This particular moment is so cringeworthy, it's hard to watch. Usually, Prince Harry and Meghan are the perfect picture of married bliss, no matter where they are in the world. However, in the audience of a 2019 Cirque du Soleil performance in London, the royal couple were caught by the cameras during a pretty awkward moment. Right, OK, give me, give me a bit of background. A video of the couple showed Prince Harry stretching out his hand to Markle. She takes his hand, saying thank you, to which he looked upset and seemed to roll his eyes. That's some pretty strange behaviour on Prince Harry's part. He was even captured fiddling with his ring after the incident, to which one unnamed Instagram user commented, playing with the ring is not good. We'll never know for sure what made Prince Harry so exasperated about this moment with his wife. But one thing's for sure, royal fans were quick to notice that tension between the pair. Miranda Hart is a well-known British comedian who won over audiences with her hit show, Miranda. The star opened up about her awkward encounter with Prince Harry on The Graham Norton Show in 2015. It all happened when she hosted part of the Jubilee concert and had the chance to meet both the princes. But I completely died on my ass with Harry. It was so embarrassing. Hart went on to say that when she encountered Prince Harry, she apologised for the flirting jokes she'd made in her speech, to which he replied, It's a shame there's not music here and dancing. She explained that Prince Harry was just trying to be sweet, but then Hart made things weird. And then I said, as a joke, but way too dryly, so he thought I was being serious. I went, I can hear music. We can just imagine how embarrassing that moment must have been for Hart and for Prince Harry, who apparently had no idea how to respond and just walked away. Prince Harry met Meghan Markle in 2016, and the rest was history. And while the pair hit it off pretty quickly, one embarrassing instance proves that they weren't quite ready for marriage right out of the gate. When Prince Harry visited Antigua and Barbuda on a royal errand, the country's Prime Minister, Gaston Brown, invited the royal and his new girlfriend to return to the country for their honeymoon. The BBC posted a video of the awkward exchange in which the Prime Minister said, Antigua and Barbuda has been voted consistently as the best honeymoon destination in the Caribbean. So there will be no, no other place in the Caribbean for sure that is better to spend your upcoming honeymoon, whenever that may arise. Judging from the look on Harry's face, it's pretty clear the Prime Minister was a few years ahead of the Prince on this one. Malala Yousafzai is an internationally recognised activist for gender equality in Pakistan and the youngest Nobel Peace Prize laureate. Prince Harry met Yousafzai at the 2014 We Day Assembly and the meeting turned out to be pretty awkward for them both. Apparently, it all started innocently enough. According to event co-founder Craig Kilberger, when the pair were posing for a photograph together, Prince Harry casually tried to place his arm around the activist's shoulder. Kielberger revealed to Hello! magazine that Yosef Sai's mother started shouting, no, 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 which translated to, not unless you marry her can you touch her. Yikes. The prince clearly didn't know the correct protocol. Kielberger went on, the prince was so red in his face at that moment, and he was clasping his hands in the front. Malala was so embarrassed. And we aren't surprised. The moment sounds totally mortifying. Anyone who follows the royals will know that etiquette matters. Your Majesty, your, your secretary briefed me on all the royal etiquette. I'm not talking about salad forks, love. This ain't the princess diaries. 
With the royal family, there is a correct time and place for everything. However, it would seem that Prince Harry's wife Meghan didn't fully understand the intricacies of royal etiquette, and she ended up seriously embarrassing her husband because of it. According to the book Royals at War, written by journalists Dylan Howard and Andy Tillett, Markle's pregnancy announcement was incredibly poorly timed. The book stated, Meghan put her foot in it when she decided that Princess Eugenie's wedding reception would be the ideal moment to announce that she and Harry were expecting their first child. As the book went on to explain, this was a huge social gaffe, as it stole the limelight from the bride. Oops. Apparently, Markle's bad timing made both the bride and her mother furious. That must have been pretty awkward for Prince Harry, who would have known just how serious Markle's blunder was. Most people who have grown up with social media accounts have their own embarrassing online histories. Whether it's an old MySpace page or an email address you made when you were a teenager, we've all been there. But it may surprise you to learn that Prince Harry has social media gaffes of his own. In 2020, Harper's Bazaar published an excerpt from Finding Freedom, a biography about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. It confirmed that the royal had a super cringeworthy Instagram handle back in the day. Ready for it? Apparently, Prince Harry started started an Instagram account under the hilarious name Spiky Mouse back in 2016. The authors of the book revealed that the name was an homage to the prince's love of house music and the producer Dead Mouse. Apparently, Spike is a nickname often used by Scotland Yard officers. Talk about an awkward revelation for Prince Harry, or should we say Spiky Mouse? Prince Harry frequently gives speeches in public as part of his royal duties, or at least he did before moving to Los Angeles with Meghan. During one such event in 2019, things didn't go according to plan when a pesky bee stole the prince's thunder. The hilarious moment took place during Prince Charles's 70th birthday celebrations. As Prince Harry delivered his speech, he was seen swatting away a bug that was flying close to his head. Prince Harry then went quiet for a moment before trying to continue stumbling over his words. Sorry, <laughs> that bee really got me. <laughs> Apparently, bees don't have too much respect for royalty. We're pretty impressed at how Prince Harry handled the situation so professionally. After all, bee stings can be seriously painful. Prince Harry has embarrassed himself in public due to his past wild behavior, but since he's matured, he's tried to come across as a little more restrained. So when the royal visited the Obamas in 2016, he was reportedly on his best behavior. Everything was going swimmingly until his nephew, Prince George, blew his cover. Michelle Obama told the hilarious, awkward story in an interview with ABC News, saying, I have to say that the most precious thing, if you haven't already fallen in love with Harry, is to see him with his nephew. She went on to explain that Prince George was incredibly confused by Harry's demure behavior, not understanding why he was being quiet. All throughout, he was like, Uncle Harry, yeah, was, why are you so quiet? So embarrassing. Why are you so quiet? This clearly wasn't the introduction to the Obamas he had hoped for. Eventually, Prince Harry explained Prince George's behavior. The boy was confused because his uncle was on his best behavior, when usually he'd be throwing him around the room. What an adorably awkward moment for the two princes. Many professionals wouldn't want pictures of them playing with toys posted all over the internet, especially not royals who are in line for the throne of England. However, in 2016, Prince Harry and Prince William's fanboy excitement got the better of them when they were shown around the Star Wars film set by actress Daisy Ridley. Apparently, the two princes are huge fans of the franchise and even filmed a scene for the movie as a pair of stormtroopers. Oh, really? Please. Boom. At first, Prince Harry can be seen getting scared by a realistic-looking weapon. Later on, Prince Harry and Prince William got their hands on a couple of lightsabers and had a pretend, if not slightly pathetic, duel. While the photos may be a little embarrassing for the two princes, they certainly had some fun on this royal outing. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite royals are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.